praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the response. Please, I expect other people to respond so that we can get connected and so that I will be aware that we are all participating and we are all contributing to the prayer conference online prayer meeting. Once again, I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to greet everybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank, God, thank God for the Easter celebration. And we are still on the same Easter celebration. And the celebration of Easter continue. The victory and the death and the burial of our Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I'm speaking, I want to be hearing respond because when communication, if there's a break in communication, it will not be good. There will be lapses. But I want to hear your response so that by the special grace of God, I will know that you are there and you are also participating on this conference. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you once again for another opportunity. We thank you for the death of Jesus. We thank you for the burial. We thank you for the resurrection. We bless your name because Christ has given us a victory through his death, through his burial, and through his resurrection. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Receive Amen. all the praises and thanks, eternal God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we are asking that tonight, we pray that there will be the manifestation of your deliverance. Amen. There will be the manifestation of your power. Amen. Manifestation of your authority upon Amen. our life, upon Amen. our families. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We, we pray that every stubborn pursuer, every enemy that, they, that refused to let go, we are asking, we are praying, the cross of Jesus will cross their head. Amen. The power of the cross will destabilize every walk of darkness away from the life of your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost, we hand over the conference to you tonight. We are asking Holy Ghost, you will take preeminence. You will take control. Amen. You will lift up your people. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to appreciate God. Just appreciate Him. Lift up your voice and say, God, I appreciate you. I appreciate, I appreciate your you, in my life. Thank I appreciate your faithfulness in my life. I appreciate your power in my life. I appreciate your kindness in my family. I appreciate your health. I appreciate your faithfulness. I appreciate your dominion. I appreciate your I appreciate your and your mercy towards me and my family in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I appreciate your presence, Lord, and your guidance, Lord. I appreciate your protection. I appreciate it. There is so the Lord of Jesus can come as my father. I appreciate it. I get everything that you have done, everything you are doing, and you will do in my life, my wife's life, my marriage, in our goodness, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you are our God, our Father, and we are your people. 
Give Father him the Lord, 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 people. Lord, 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 Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for forgiveness of our sins. Thank you, Lord, for our justification. Thank you, Lord, for redemption. Thank you, Lord, for paying the price. Thank you, Lord, that Christ died for us. Thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice of your son for us. Thank you for the power of the cross. Thank you for the blood of Jesus in our lives. The power of the blood of Jesus in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the provision, the daily provision. Thank you, Lord, for healing, the daily freedom. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please are worthy, Lord. We are the honor. Yes, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. There is no one we can compare with you, Elsa. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy. 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 Amen. We are going to commit ourselves in the age of the Lord. The psalmist said, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. We are going to pray this morning tonight. Search your heart, search yourself. Whatever that want to hinder your prayer tonight, ask the blood of Jesus to purify you. As the blood of Jesus to wash you, as the blood of Jesus to wash away everything Jesus. that want to stand as a barrier, as an obstacle, oh, in that your Holy Ghost sent you. The blood of Jesus to keep you The efficacy of the blood of Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus. All those obstacles, they call those hopelessness. They call those things out of the life, out of the way. For me, just to be over Meet yourself to the ears of the Lord. Please, oh Lord, I mean, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Holy Spirit, I pray, oh Lord, oh God, you walk into my heart, in my soul, in my spirit, Father, and search me out, oh Lord, every hidden thought, oh Lord, every hidden sin, oh Lord, Father, every presumption, sin, Father, that you deliver me from them and forgive me in the name of Jesus. As the blood of Jesus, be the blood of your life. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, the that is in Jesus' name. Father, of Jesus, Father, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus over my soul, over my mind, O oh Lord. Father, to push me. Make oh sure Lord. you are praying tonight. That is that my prayer before you, Lord, this night. Father, for the Lord, Lord. Be the make sure you are calling on the Lord tonight. Father, oh Lord, that no thing from that. That you will pull up the truth and you will take it in the name of Jesus. Go for what you need to do. In the name of Jesus. Father, no silent voice. Who will suppress any negative emotion? Oh, Father, oh Lord, suppress. Father, in the name of 
Jesus. We'll stand before you tonight. Lord, let us fulfill us tonight. Lord, let us fulfill us that we stand against me this night. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the Lord that speak a better thing than that of Abel, let it speak for me this night. Let it wash, O Lord, that the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Jesus died, and he died for me, that I know how to do it, except for God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus, amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us pray now. Our God and our Father, we thank you because Jesus has shared his blood already on the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, who gave himself for us, that he has also more iniquity and yes, purified Lord. unto a self, a peculiar people, a unto good work. Jesus died to purify your people so that your people can be purified and zealous unto good work. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every soul on this on this Amen. online prayer. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every conscience. I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone we are presenting this prayer online. Tonight I pray the efficacy of the blood of Jesus we Amen. wash and flush every evil, every seed, every every activity of the Amen. devil away from every past. We pray tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. As we want to share a little bit from the word of God, we pray for open us and give us understanding and need us to pray. Thank Amen. You, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Quickly, listen to me very quickly. I'm talking tonight very quickly. Overcoming stubborn pursuer, overcoming, prevailing, overcoming stubborn pursuer. That is the prayer, the topic of tonight's prayer meeting. Overcoming stubborn pursuer. I took my test from the book of Psalm 18, verse 43 to verse 48. Psalm 18 of the 3 to verse 48. Thou hast delivered me from the strife of the people. Thou hast made me the head of the Eden. A people who I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The stranger shall submit their unto me. The stranger shall fled away and be, and be afraid out of their close place. The Lord, the Lord liveth. And blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenged me and subdued the people mm -hmm. under me. He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men. Look at that again. Thou hast delivered me from the stubborn pursuer. Thou hast delivered me from my stubborn enemy. David declared, proclaimed that God has delivered him from the stubborn pursuer. The violent man being referred to this scripture was Saul. Saul was looking for David everywhere to kill David. After David has been anointed by Samuel. But then Saul was seeking him all over to kill him. But the Lord delivered David from the stubborn pursuer. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 21. Exodus chapter 14, verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. And all that night, and make the sea dry up, and the water were divided, and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the water were a wall unto them on the right hand and on the left. And the Egyptians pursued 
the stubborn Egyptian pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even of Pharaoh, us, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in that in, in the morning was the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptian through the pillar of fire and of cloud. And the Lord troubled the host of the Egyptian. I want to announce to you tonight, God shall trouble the host of your enemies. God shall trouble the host of your stubborn pursuer, and the Lord trouble the host of them. The, uh, the, the you see people pursuing your dream. So many people are being pursued today, but mm. many do not know it. So as as long as you spend all your time running from evil pursuer, it will be very difficult for you to accomplish anything significant with your life. The scripture, the scriptural energy, the spiritual energy that you should have used to accomplish great things to you. In, in, in the sight of God, you use it to be running away from stubborn pursuer, stubborn enemy. This is nothing new. There is nothing new at all because in the Bible we see that as long as stubborn pursuer Pharaoh was after Israel, Israel could not fulfill their divine destiny. So could not. So they cannot be able to serve God eventually. Therefore, this is a serious issue that we are dealing here tonight with stubborn pursuer, stubborn enemy who refused to allow the, his, his captain to go free. Tonight, you will be delivered by the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Friend, hear me. As I hear from the Lord, every stubborn pursuer that say you will not be settled on your destination, the hand of the Lord. The power of the Lord will scatter the evil hand of the stubborn pursuer. And it is Amen. 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 Hey, you in your way giving the word of God, your destiny, what could have been sent for you? And they say you will not get to your goal. You will not accomplish what you need to accomplish. This year, the Lord will frustrate all the applause, all the Amen. all the Amen. Amen. Do not prevail over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes more this stubborn pursuer, they push you away from your marital, from your marital home. They push mm. your wife away. And uh, like, uh, we are having a, a meeting. Then a, a, a lady was discussing. And he said, he has a car. And the husband said, that car, that jeep, he want to ride it today to his, to his place of work. And the wife say, oh, no, I need to ride this car. Was, that, that is what happened in the family. And the husband went to the place of work. He came back. He told the man to pack a load and leave, and leave, the, and leave the house. And the sister was saying, ah, just ordinary key. I want to drive this car. If I thought to drive the car to jeep, you say, no, you drive it last week. That is what caused their the challenges. And she ran to us for prayer. When she ran to us for prayer, we began to pray. We began to pray. began to pray. In fact, it took them four months. After four months, she got she got in touch with us. As we pray, God intervened and God changed and God pushed and God destroyed the spirit behind that assignment. God chasing out the Holy Ghost chased that spirit out of that family. As I'm talking to you now. They have now re reunited together. They are now in love together. They are now happy together. Those are the spirit I'm talking about. They will push you away from your marital, marital home. They will push you away from, from your family. They will push you away from your husband's house. They will push you away from your place of work. Those are the spirit I'm talking about. They are so strong, they are so rebellious, and, and, and their, their job is to wreck home. Their job is to scatter family. Their job is to turn children to become wayward. Their job is to make somebody to go mad. But tonight, all the assignment and program of someone pursue, the Lord will overthrow them out of your life, out of your family tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
And if you have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, then you belong to the company of those who will move from wandering to possession. And if Jesus has redeemed you, then you have no business moving about aimlessly like a sheep without a shepherd. And if Jesus has saved you, you will move from prophecy to fulfillment. And if Jesus has saved you, no power of hell will keep you away from what God has destined for you. The stubborn pursuer, they must go down. They must go away. They must not prevail in your life. The Egyptians pursue Israel when they left Egypt. When I also tell you, when you, when you say you are redeemed, you say you have come out from Egypt, say you think Satan will be happy with you, he will pursue you. He will allow you to fight, the, he will allow you to start the journey to the kingdom of God, but he will use everything to bring you back to Egypt. I want to announce to you all their magic power all their juju, all their evil order, all their incantation. It will not get at you any longer in Jesus' name. I said it will not get back to you. It will not get to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever Amen. order and whatever power they are using to chase, you know, they can use their evil magic to chase blessings away from you. That's what the Bible says. We wrestle. Let me, let me tell you something. Whatever has occurred physically, it has already been concluded spiritually. The challenges we are seeing and intensing today, because the victim, they refuse to address it long ago. That is why the thing now manifests in their life. A man that pushed the wife out of his house. It's not today. They have concluded that work in the spiritual realm. They have concluded everything. It, it, be, it is the manifestation you are seeing physically. And that is why all the, all the bad thing and calamity and sickness and, and, and trouble and turmoil you are seeing today, it has been concluded in the spiritual realm. You need to go to the spiritual realm now. Whatever the enemy have concluded in your life, whatever the enemy have concluded in your house, whatever the enemy have concluded in your marriage, whatever the enemy have concluded in your children, you need to go in and, and scatter and then begin to reprogram God program in your life, in your family. Tonight, you will reprogram everything the enemy have done in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. That is why we are telling somebody some 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 uh some some time ago when we tell the person the important for him to see spiritual warfare because life is a war. Life is a war. The 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 the, 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 the our life is war. Is we are in the battlefield, battle battle ground. Satan, demon. Occultic men, Pharaoh, Egyptian, Jezebel, Ahab, they will not take it easy with you. They will fight you financially. They will fight you maritally. They will fight you socially. They will fight you in every angle. That's what the Bible say. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Tonight, you will possess your possession. Wherever they have, driven, they have driven you out from your inheritance, from your territory, you will recover your territory. You will recover, oh. you will recover your territory tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes you want to hear me. Sometimes they give you after two afflictions to people. Affliction that we take every. You know, I told you this is some some. Uh, is it last 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 uh, last two weeks? This this lady before the mother gave birth to to this child, and then when the mother was pregnant, she was on the edge. She now transfer uh, trans transform and transfer herself to the womb of the mother, and the 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 now give birth to this uh, young lady in the family. Where were the family? <laughs> and then the father was a very rich man. And when the father gathered some money, made some, some uh, 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 prosperity, this lady will fall sick. 
The one mm. they must speak, the parents will spend everything they have. Then when there is no money mm. again, she will, she will be okay. She will got wealth. After some time again, she will fall sick again. Mm. When she fall sick again, the parents will spend everything they have. When there is no money again in the family, she will be okay. And that is how they have been living their life in that family. For since they give birth to this lady. And then when they get become mm. 22 years, the, 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 the agreement is that she is going to die and go back to the, to the marine uh, queen of the coast, right back in the, in the marine kingdom. And then she approached us by the grace of God. And when he approached me, and then we pray for her. As we pray for her, I, I look at, there's a big saw right in her left, left leg. And that mm -hmm. the sword with the ghost put on a left leg. You know that the moment we pray for her, we pray for her, as we pray for her, the Lord deliver her. As the Lord, as the Lord deliver her, she go deliver from that from that queen of the coast, that marine kingdom. Look at the wall. The parents call our attention. He said, the saw in the leg of her daughter yeah. have dry off. We told him, it's a loss doing. Before she was saying the testimony with us, that this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. But he was delivered from the queen of the coast region. And by the grace of God, she's alive. And because they say, if he's gone to 22 years, he's going to die. She escaped death. She was delivered. And tonight, maybe perhaps they throw something at you. Maybe perhaps you, you find yourself, you sleep in the night, you find yourself right in the in, right under the water with children. Okay. Tonight, the Lord God Almighty will command the deliverance upon you tonight. Yeah, and you'll be set free and be liberated by the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That is why we are going to pray because they have pushed a lot of people away from their destiny. This stubborn demon, this demon control, they have pushed people away from their inheritance. They have pushed people away from their glory. They have pushed people away from 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 from, from where God placed them. They have pushed exactly. people into sickness. They have pushed people into calamity. They push people in, 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 into I want you to open your mouth to be, open your mouth now began to assure our precision to God. Open your mouth and tell God tonight is my night. Whatever has been Whatever the enemy is using to pursue me, whatever the enemy is using to 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 to, to block my progress, block my way, and making life difficult for me, oh Lord, overthrow it! Oh Lord, overthrow it! Oh Lord, overthrow it! Oh, Lord, overthrow it. Oh, Lord, overthrow it. Oh, Lord, whatever they are using against my life, whatever power, whatever whatever magic power they are using against my life, oh Lord, overthrow it! to meet my life, oh, no. to meet me to go backward, Father, spiritually, 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 Father, and let us go to each instrument, Father, whatever the instrument, whatever the instrument, the devil has been using, Father, to control more. My progress in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, break it up. Father, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Put the food, oh Lord, oh Christ, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Put an end, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You are going to pray. You will pray that God will arise. 
and destroy any power something something of my destiny. Any power as self will scatter my family or will scatter the power. Any Amen. power as I will commit my family or will scatter Pray for your Amen. family, pray for your household right now. Second, second, as a family, as an individual, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, over oh, them and scatter them. In the name of Jesus, Father, scatter them. In the name of Jesus, paralyze them, oh Lord. We pray. Amen. A couple got married some years ago. When the couple got married, after three, four years, no children, we have been invited to come and pray for, for, for those couples. As we get to the house, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying. All of a sudden, they not open my eyes. There was a work clock, there was a work clock right there in the house of those couple. The work, the work clock stopped working. Just stopped working. And the work clock stopped working exactly 12. 12 o'clock. As we are praying now, the Lord spoke to me that this work clock, this work clock that has stopped working have a spiritual significance in this family. That mm. this work mm. clock that stopped that stop working, it has stopped a lot of things in this family. So I told the couple mm. that this work clock, why can't you change, why can't you change the battery and put a new battery on it? They said they have put new battery, the clock will work, it will stop, work, it will stop. They just abandon the clock in there. Okay, I said, okay. I said, let's take that clock outside. I said, we are going to burn this work clock. They were looking at me. I said, we are going to burn it. I said, the Lord says that this work clock has a spiritual significance in this family. And it's the work clock that, that is responsible for the badness in this family. So the other thing we go back to the house, we began to pray, we began to pray, we began to pray. Do you know that the next day, the family that prepared the work of the the eve of the prayer get hold of them. They came, they called those family, they confessed to them. Oh. I'm telling you, they confessed to them. The evil they, are, they don't through mm -hmm. that work law. And the that not stop working in that family, mm -hmm. things will not work in their life. Mm -hmm. They will be going down. No children, parents and all that. And do you know, after after about two mm. months, the wife the wife took mm. in. You are going to pray tonight. Whatever the enemy have deposited in your family that is causing trouble in your household, whatever the enemy have deposited, he have put in your house that cause trouble, commotion, misunderstanding, fighting, backwardness. Let the Holy Ghost fire burn and root out all such evil things. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Everything the enemy has planted in your family that is working against your life, working against your family, ask the Lord to root all those things out. Call upon the Lord and open your mouth and pray tonight. To so root out in the name of Jesus, Father, every property of the devil in my body, in my soul, in my spirit, in my life, in my family, in my business, in my plan, in the name of family. Father, cause you to root out family, cause you to family, and my Lord will root out all the sins. Father, in the name of Jesus, in our family, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father, cause you to root out all the sins. Father
Father, in the name of Jesus, and it has come to it in the name of Jesus. Father, O Lord, approach O Lord, and destroy every party of the devil that has been causing confusion in the name of Jesus. Every party of the devil. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be in the name of Jesus. Every property of the devil, every seed, every tree, Father, whole new Papa of the devil, Papa that is healed in the Lord, Father, confusion. We pray. In the name of Jesus, 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 we pray. By the authority of the name of Jesus, in Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. We pray. Amen. I want to hear your response if I'm needing prayer. This is online prayer conference. I am praying with people who are praying champion. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You are going to pray. Listen to me. Stop them before they stop you. For those mm. of you who are not praying, you are meditating. You are not doing yourself good. Please, every prayer request I give, you must take time and pray that prayer request because something is going to happen in your life very soon that will take you to the next level as you pray all these prayer requests in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bible says, let the wickedness of the wicked come upon his head. You are going to pray. Every wicked, evil agenda of the enemy over my family. Oh God, Amen. let your wickedness return upon their head. Oh Amen. God, let Let O Lord, the God, O Lord, and the Lord of the wicked will not fall on the right. Father Lord, I have the Bible study this prayer meeting. This is not Bible study this prayer online conference. This is not Bible study this prayer online spiritual prayer walking. Wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wickedness of the devil come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wickedness of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wickedness of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked of the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wicked come upon the head in the name of Jesus. Father, let the Prayer is a war. This is not Bible study. This is warfare prayer. When we come to pray, we come to put down, throw down, overthrow the activity of demonic and satanic agenda. You are going to pray. Whatever they have written against you and your children this year, 
they are preaching against you and your family this year, whatever they are preaching down against you and your household, the Bible says, Lock out the hundred of ordinances that have been written contrary against us. We are going to pray, oh God, every wicked and right. I blotted out in the name of Jesus. Blotted out in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus 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 name, we pray. Amen. I, one of my father and the Lord, he was in Nigeria here before he traveled to United States of America. Of America. We, when he traveled, the in-law, brother, brother, told him, told that you will not succeed. And he told him one on one that as you are traveling, you will not go that journey, you will not hear that journey very well. He told him that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he traveled, he told us when he get over there, when he called me, he told me that the enemy strike. But thank mm -hmm. God, God saw him through. Amen. You are going to pray. Any wicked elder in your father's house, wicked mm. elder that is contending with you and your family, and is contending with you and your household, any wicked elder in the village, mm. in the city, wherever, oh God, mm. contend with them. Amen. A personality that is contending with me and my house. <laughs> Yes, Lord, contend with the 
Finally, pray this prayer finally. Pray it very well. You are going to pray final prayer. Every program of death in your household, every sentence of death, every instrument of death as tied against you and your family this year and beyond this year, you are going to pray, oh God, scatter and destroy, evaporate and destroy some statement of death in my household. We shall Amen. not die for you. And declare Amen. the throne of God. You are going to pray. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. Father, I thank you because you are still on the throne. Amen. Amen. All what you stubborn pursue the enemy and all what they have been planning against your children. Whatever system they are using to work against any of your children on this prayer online, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I Amen. command their system to collapse. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You have not planned upon the life of your children, and whatever may be the demonic manipulation and the Top of Pursuer, the agenda against anybody in this prayer online. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to come to them. In Tonight, I decree for those who are praying for a husband, for life partner, and they have been waking upon the Lord, and they have been saying, God, remember them. I pray for anyone looking for a life partner tonight. I pray, Father, you will connect them. You will bring them together. I pray mm -hmm. all the entrances and any power that say this truth, these people will not get settled down in their marital life. I pray such power will collapse. The Lord will command deliverance upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For each family represented here, whatever may be the blood of the devil, Whatever may be plot of the enemy against any family on this prayer conference, I take authority over the demon assigned against any family here to cause trouble, to cause oppression, to cause calamity. That demon, I bind the spirit of the demon. I overthrow the demon. Amen. Jesus, I command the fire of the Lord to call. Pack your load and get out of those houses in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I decree for everyone here tonight, oh God, you will walk upon our character. You will walk upon our heart. Amen. Amen. 
every area you are in, rest of the power of Christ. We call upon everyone and we quickly let everyone body physically, spiritually, socially, maritally. Let life and power come upon every soul, every every soul under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, I decree, I release you from every bondage from stubborn pursuer. I release Amen. you from the hand of Pharaoh. I release Amen. you from every plot and the program of the enemy. I Amen. command the blood of Jesus to liberate you and to set you free. I receive the blood of Jesus over your life and that pain, Amen. that oppression in your life. I command your oppression to come out and be healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I thank you very much because I believe you have answered my prayer. Your Amen. name is glory. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. I pray. Amen. Amen. We just sing Amen. the Yoruba song. Uh, I don't know if everyone of us know it. Mole Moba. Moton ba pada, Mole moba, Moton ba pada, Mole moba, Moton ba pada, Bon bobo, Tota ba la yemi, Yemi, Mole moba, Mole moba. Motongba pada pada mole moba motongba pada pada mole moba motongba pada ongbobo tota gba la yemi United States, we, we, we turn it to prayer for everyone. But what it means that I, David, uh, after the enemy, all what they have collected from his household, he collected them back. We will not call upon the name of the Lord. All what the enemy have collected from me, by the power in the blood Lord Jesus Christ, I'm recollecting them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. It is not the will of the Lord that you become a somebody that is begging for money. It is not the will of the Lord that you become somebody that is sick. It is not the will of the Lord that you become somebody that does that, that lack. It is not the will of the Lord, somebody that does not have job. It is not the will of God, the, 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 the will of God that you don't have a family. It is not the will of the Lord that you, you, you continue you continue to suffer that. It is not the will of the Lord that you don't have your own mouth, you don't have your own face in your family. God love you have the name of the Lord. That everything enemy has collected from you. From the beginning of this to this point, to this point, from, the, from the last year, from year before the, 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 before the last, they have let you become what you are now. Of many dreams you have pursued that you cannot achieve, many aim, many dreams you have done, you, you have aimed upon, but you cannot get them. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the miracle of God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All they have lost to the enemy, all the enemy have collected from me in my dream, in my dream. Physically, I mean, my liver, my liver, all by their, by their, by their method of, 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 of way. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father, give it to me. I collect them back in today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord of Lord, I collect them back in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father, I collect them back in the name of Jesus Christ. My financial situation, oh Lord, I collect them back, back from the enemy. My physical situation, I collect them back from the enemy. My friend, my, my marital life, I collect them. Back from any, I collect it back from the enemy. My life, my children's life, I collect it back from the enemy. Call of God upon the name of the Lord. Oh, what enemy has stolen in your life? Oh, what enemy has stolen in my life? Oh, peace enemy has taken away in my life. Oh, peace enemy has taken you away from your life. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, this is confessed and this says, I run after it and collected, I collected them back. back. I run after it and I collected. Them back. Call upon the name of the Lord by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything concerning your head, everything concerning your financial and financial activities, everything concerning your physical life, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are collecting them back to lie in the name of Jesus Christ. You are collecting them back to lie in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. In your 
them dreams. Physically, through your mouth, when you are speaking, when you are going, when you are coming, when you are going out, in any area of your life, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, fishing the knee, you show in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover, we, we cover ourselves. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Revival starts in your life. Revival starts in my life. Revival starts in your family life. Your revival starts in your husband's life. Your revival starts in your wife's life. Revival starts in your in your in your marital life. Your revival starts in your business life. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything that is impossible. Oh, all things that is impossible. All things that is causing hard and hard and hard to reach. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Discipline. My dear sister. Discipline. My dear brother. Discipline. You connect it back. 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 Connect them back in the name of Jesus Christ. Connect them back in the name of Jesus Christ. Connect them with the holy blood of Jesus Christ. You have a relationship with Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Your physical condition connect them back in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, cover them with the blood of Jesus. From this moment, success is yours. From this moment, success is mine. From this moment, success is yours. Whatever you lay your hand upon, whatever you lay your hand upon, wherever you put your head, wherever you put your life, by the power. In the blood of Jesus Christ, society is in the name of Jesus Christ. Society is in the name of Jesus Christ. You wrap it with the blood of Jesus. You wrap it with the blood of Jesus. You will share testimony. I will share testimony. You will share testimony. Everybody is in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, even for you, you will see it. Oh, my Father, yes, you have been praying before. It has become a routine. But for tonight, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, from the treasure, from the treasure.
uh, been so busy. Uh, so please, uh, all of the, all of all of them, let us be praying for them in our uh, uh, secret. Then all of us that will know them, let us call them. Uh, Almighty God is going, is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Uh, no, not only for them, because we know them. That's why we mention them. Every one mm-hmm. of us online, let us be praying for each other. We are not many. So mm-hmm. if God can separate us from the world and make mm-hmm. us significant in the world, it is not too much. Yes, it is not yes. too much. Financially, mm-hmm. physically, in the ministry, if God can separate just 30 of us and make mm-hmm. us significant, look mm-hmm. at the billions. To the extent that when they will say about this prayer, we are, oh, I know one pastor, Ali. oh, I know one pastor, I know one sister for me, I know one sister, Shade. You get what I'm saying? We are not many. It's not too much for God to bless us in, in, in a unique way. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to do it in Jesus' name. And mm-hmm. our, his name is going to be glorifying our life in Jesus' name. Pastor Ali, mm-hmm. over to you, but uh, thank you. Just pray for us. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Uh... Amen. Please, uh, before I round up the prayer for tonight, if you are not on our prayer request platform, please let me to know so I can add uh, you on the prayer request platform so that you also can be part of what is going on on our request platform. We have four prayer request platform. Prayer request platform one, uh, prayer request platform two, apart from the pastor's platform and men's only. and that We have about four platforms. So if you are not on that platform, please let me know. You can send your uh, identity to Pastor Matthew. You will get to me. So I can be able to add you on those platforms. May the Lord bless all the sacrifice everyone has put together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we, we thank you once again because you are still alive. Thank yes. you. We give you the glory because of the authority you give to the church. Mm. The power you give to the church. And of Hallelujah. all this work, I be my church. The gate of air of sickness. The gate of air of tuberculosis. The gate of air of premature death. The gate of air of cancer. The gate of air of adversity. The gate gate of air of any type of disease will not prevail over your children. For those who have been in the hospital, for those who are supposed to be here, they are not here because of one challenge or the other challenge. The Bible says, and God sent out this world, and he healed them and delivered them from that destruction. Hey! Amen. I stand upon the rock of ages and I pronounce mm-hmm. healing upon all those who are strong right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. From tonight, bondage is going out of your life. Amen. Amen. From tonight, affliction is leaving your life. Amen. Amen. From tonight, Whatever have oppressed you in the name of Jesus, let those Amen. oppression be thrown out of your life. Amen. You are free and deliver and preserved in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I cover everyone, everybody with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, I Amen. bless you. Lord, I worship you. If Jesus tarry next week, sat next week at uh, Thursday, let everyone return back with testimony and Amen. begin to give God what you have done tonight. Amen. I pray for that person over there that you have this habit within you. And you know it. And it's like you are you you you, you are struggling with it. You are struggling with it. And what you are doing. Do it. You, you don't like it, but you find yourself doing it. Hey, that demon represented in your life that is that is that is drawing you and throwing you, throwing your back down. I command fire upon the head of that demon, and I release Amen. you from every stronghold. I'm taking you captive lawfully. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. I speak, I speak peace. I speak liberation. I speak Amen. I speak progress. I speak Amen. health. I speak prosperity. Amen. 
I speak Amen. to you. Keep quiet and your family. Thank you, Amen. Father. Thank In you. Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We shall meet on the uh, power, I mean, our victory on Saturday. Uh, let's share the grace together. Thank you. The grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. Thank Spread the news about our all our prayer to other people in Jesus' name. And as you are doing so, God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night, Good night sir. We love you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Praise the Lord. You believe like I believe. I said you believe like I believe. That something must happen to you today. You will not escape it. It's coming my way. I said it's coming my way. The might of the Almighty will walk in your life. What are you there? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother and every sister, every boy and every girl, all our invitees and everyone here. Lord, I pray tonight, this will be the moment of your might in every life, in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Transform every life. Do something unforgettable in every life tonight, in Jesus' name. Let everyone in this place experience the might of the Almighty. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. As I've told you before, I'm telling you again, there will always be an amen in your life. Tonight, we come together for something special. Something spectacular. And something you know, unforgettable. Because when you come and you want to realize that this is the moment. This is the time. This is the very day that the might of the Almighty will be manifested in your life. Every mountain it will roll away. Every challenge it will solve. And all those naughty, naughty things in your life, you want to go this way and they double cross you and they hinder you tonight. Everything will be blown away in Jesus' name. You will conquer. I will overcome. I said I will overcome. You will overcome and conquer in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm talking to you on living by the might of the Almighty. Living by the might of the Almighty. Walking by the might of the Almighty. Laboring by the might of the Almighty. Progressing by the might of the Almighty. You are here tonight, I can tell you confidently that every stumbling block is taken out of your life. I can assure you tonight as you come in connection. As you come, reconciliation. As you come and you attach yourself to the Almighty, every impossibility will become possible tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> Living by the might of the Almighty. Let me remind you, from eternity past, from the deathless past, until eternity future, until the endless eternity, God... It's always almighty. He introduces himself as the almighty God. That means there is no limit to his might. When it says almighty, that means there's no limit to his power. It's all powerful. That means there's no limit to his strength. Anything you want to carry, you cannot carry. The almighty is so powerful and his strength has no limit. He will carry it for you. There is no limit to his strength. He has the strength and he's going to even support you. He's going to be by your side. You are strong tonight. Let the weak say, you are strong and strength is passing into your body right now. Into your soul and into your mind. There is no limit to his dominion. He has authority. He has sovereignty. There's no limit to his ability. There's no limit to his authority. There's no limit to his omnipotence. You know what he does? In his almighty power, he grants us the might that we need to live by. From Genesis to Revelation, God is revealed as the almighty. He's revealed to his people as the almighty. Look at Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, I am the almighty God. You see that introduction? God comes to Abraham and God is talking to you tonight. He comes to you tonight. He said, 
What's your problem? What's your mountain? What's your challenge? What's the roadblock? What's the hindrance there? He introduces himself to you tonight. I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Every hindrance is taken out of the way. We're looking at Job chapter 8. Job chapter 8. As these verses are being read, they are being fulfilled in your life. Every promise mentioned today is coming to your account. Every power revealed today is going to work for you in Jesus' name. Look at Job chapter 8, and I'm reading here from verse 5. Job chapter 8, reading from verse 5, it says, If thou wouldest seek God betimes, and make thy supplication to the Almighty, you're not praying tonight to a weak God, a powerless God, a limited God. You're praying and making your supplication before the Almighty. He will answer your prayer. If thou wert pure and upright, surely, surely, now he will awake for thee. Surely. Somebody shall surely. He will awake for thee. And make thy habitation, the habitation of the righteous, prosperous. Prosperity has come. Yeah. Your debts will be paid. Yeah. Your needs will be met. Yeah. You come to the creator of the heavens and the earth. And all those challenges of famine, all the challenges of scarcity, everything, the Lord will roll away. Hey, look at verse 7. Look at verse 7. Mark it in your Bible. Hold it in your Bible. Hold it in your heart. And every time you understand, this is going to be your experience. From this moment of his mind, he says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end will greatly increase. I must make this one personal to myself. Though my beginning was small, yet my latter end should greatly increase. There's somebody there, you feel you are small, you feel you are insignificant, you feel you are a nobody, you are going to become somebody. You feel nobody knows you, heaven knows you. And people on earth will know you. Look at verse 7. Though my beginning... I'm saying it for myself. Though my beginning was small, yet my latter end should greatly increase. Amen. That amen is for your life. It means so let it be, so let it be, so let it be. Let the blessing come upon your life. Let the glory come upon your life. Psalm 91, Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. You see here tonight? I said, is she here tonight? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the... Shall abide under the shadow of the... You are under a shadow. Satan will not trouble you there. Evil spirits will not trouble you there. That powers will not trouble you there. I will say, you see, the man is making it personal. He says, it's not just that he that dwelleth, he said, I am the one. I said, I am the one. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely, help me shout the word surely. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You're free. As we come to God, and we understand, the moment we get to God, the moment of his might begins in our lives. The might of the Lord, number one, will be for us, will be for you. The might of the Lord will be with us, will be with you. The might of the Lord will be in us, will be in you. Tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. 
you are getting something here tonight. The might of the Almighty will walk in your life in Jesus' name. The three things we're looking at before we pray, tonight we're going to pray. And every prayer you pray, everything that comes out of your mouth will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Number one, comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. Comprehending, comprehending, knowing it, understanding it, perceiving it, and sensing it, and knowing that this is mine. Comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. Number two, this number two, it will be fulfilled in my life. I said this number two is going to be fulfilled in my life. What's it number two? Conquering mighty giants through the almighty. Every giant against your life, conquer tonight. Every power against your life, conquer tonight. Conquering mighty giants through the almighty. Number three, there is a confirmation. Before you go out of those doors tonight, a confirmation. In your heart, a confirmation. In your body, a confirmation. In your family, a confirmation. And all those medical reports, you know, I got this and they said this and they said this. Don't worry about that. The Almighty is here tonight. It will turn everything to your good in Jesus' name. Number three, number three, confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Coming to number one, comprehending, comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. We're coming to First Peter. In First Peter, I am reading from chapter four. First Peter, chapter four, and we're looking at verse ten. First Peter, chapter four, and we're reading from verse ten. You'll see it says the grace of God is. Many folds. It's not just, you know, I got saved. Praise the Lord. You got saved. There's more to the grace of God. Look at this. Chapter 4, verse 10. It says in chapter 4, verse 10, 1 Peter, as every man has received the gift. Every man will receive the gift. I said every man will receive the gift. God counts you in. Don't count yourself out. God is thinking about you. Don't say, I have nothing. No, you have everything. I have. I said, I have. Look at this. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of, here is where what, what we're looking for, the manifold grace of God. The manifold grace of God. Understand, we're talking about the Almighty. He is so mighty, he cannot fail. He is so mighty that there is nothing impossible for him. And he says, he comes to us through the manifold grace. Manifold grace. Uh, let me show you what it says about the grace of God so that you'll understand how yours is included. It will solve your problem. It will take away your sorrows. Look at chapter 5 of Romans. Romans chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 17. And we're looking at the manifold grace of God. The many-sided grace of God. Look at uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 17. It says, For if by one man, man's offense, death reigned by one, much more, much more, they which receive, what kind of grace? I said, what kind of grace? You know, sometimes they're distributing something, and then you come, they give you a little, they measure it, and they tailor it to, they, they're looking at everybody, and they say, if we give you too much, it will not go around. But the grace of God is so great, and it's so abundant, every grace you need tonight is available for you. Because it says, through the abundance of the grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign. They will not rule over you. You will rule over them. All those problems, they look insurmountable. The abundance, the abundant grace of God is coming to you tonight, and you will reign by one Jesus Christ. 
abundant grace. Somebody help me shout abundant grace. What are you having tonight? What's coming to you tonight? No matter how far you have gone in the negative direction, the grace of God is greater than that. It will overtake you. It will bring you back. You will experience the love of God tonight. The forgiveness of God tonight. The freedom from God tonight. And the supply of everything you need tonight in Jesus' name. Look at this in First Timothy chapter 1. First Timothy chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 14. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 14. And the grace of our Lord Jesus was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. In Romans, we learned it is abundant. But now, he tells us, Paul, the apostle said, he's gone so far. He's gone so deep. He's gone against the way of the Lord, and it's a terrible thing that he had done. But he says now, it's not only that the grace of God came to save me, it's not only that the abundant grace of God came to save me, he said, exceedingly abundant grace you need that tonight it will come yeah. understand tonight whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved but i've been very bad the grace of god covers you i've been terrible the grace of god covers you i have done something i cannot even tell people because if i tell them they will stone me to death the grace of god covers you tonight Grace covers me. Grace covers me. Salvation is coming. Grace will bring it to you in Jesus' name. Verse 14, verse 14. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. It will come to you. The grace of the Almighty brings the repentance to the Almighty. The grace is like drawing you. It's like pulling you. It's like saying, don't be dejected. Don't be sorrowful. And don't uh, think that there is no hope for you. There is hope for you over there today. Everyone here, there is hope for you in Jesus' name. And then that grace of God forgives you, forgives you, and saves you, regenerates you, recreates you, reconciles you, the penitent to the Almighty. Look at Titus. Titus chapter 3. In Titus chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 7. Titus chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Be justified by His grace. That's the grace of God. We should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. It says, the grace of God, it forgives us and it justifies us. What does that mean? It's like you know, somebody goes to court and everybody speaks against him. Witnesses speak against him. Lawyers speak against him. Advocates speak against him. His own conscience speaks against him. Even his countenance speaks against him. Everything is against him. And then the judge said, look up here. Everybody is against you. But I am on your side. What the Lord is saying is, Satan is against you. Demons are against you. Your neighbors are against you. Even your conscience is accusing you. You are bad. You are sinful. You are terrible. You are deformed. You are defiled. And you, you are going to go to hell. And then God said, look up here. I am on your side. Am I talking to somebody there today? Is the Lord talking to somebody there today? Tonight, every sin you ever committed, because Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary, he will forgive everything in Jesus' name. Whatever is accusing you, whoever is accusing you, God says, God says, he's talking to somebody there. God says, he's talking to somebody there. I am on your side. Look at that, look at that. It says, for being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Look at um, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. It says, but we'll see Jesus, you will see him tonight. In your mind's eye, you will see him tonight. 
In your conscience, you'll see him tonight. In your spirit, in your soul, in your heart, you'll see him tonight in Jesus' name. But we see Jesus was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Look at this, look at this. Count with glory and honor that by the grace of God, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death, should taste death, should taste death. For every man, he died your death. I said, he died your death. You will not die prematurely. You will not die spiritually. You will not die a sinner's death. That when the fellow dies, they say, ah, that man, we know where he has gone. And they put their finger in their mouth, that will not be your Lord. Tonight, once you say, I receive Jesus. I accept Jesus. I make Jesus my Lord and Savior. He has tasted death for every man. Look at verse 10. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing, in bringing, in bringing many sons unto glory. I am one of them. I said I am one of them. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. And then look at verse 11. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. He sanctifies, we are sanctified, and then we're united with him. It says they are all of one because it says for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. It's not a shame. It says, that's my brother. That's my sister. And this is the Lord Jesus Christ talking. It is done in Jesus' name. I'm coming now to Acts of the Apostles chapter 4. Acts of the Apostles chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 33. Acts of the Apostles chapter 4. And we're reading from verse 33. Look at verse 33. It says, in verse 33, And with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and tell me the rest over there and tell me the rest over there if you are part of the all tell me out aloud and great grace was upon them all what does that mean upon them all upon them over there I said upon them over there I said upon them over there. I said upon them over there. What kind of grace? I said what kind of grace? Great grace is for you tonight. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And we're looking at verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Look at verse 9. It says in verse 9. And he said unto me. And he said unto me. And he said unto me, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient.